Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1319 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 29 moves to clear out 27 jelly. And this is a special dedication to King Patriot 12, who let me know that the board has been changed and the changes make King Patriot stuck. And we don't want that to happen. So we're gonna see what we can do to help solve that. Uh, this is a hard level. We can tell by the skull and the purple stripes. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would really help me out. So let's look at all of these elements on the board. We've got some blockers. We've got licorice swirls here with more set to come down. And here too, we have toffee. We have this licorice shell, which acts like the popcorn. And this one's partially popped, so that's good news. Uh, but we have to get rid of it. Once we do, we'll, we will get that color bomb, but then we have jelly underneath. And then we've got this dark chocolate. Now notice this is three layers thick. So these can become three layers thick and it can grow outward three layers thick if we remove this toffee. This is only one layer thick, so it can only grow to one layer thick. It can't grow thicker than any candy that is attached to it. So, we know that this is going to grow outward instead of upward, but this will grow upward probably before it grows outward. Let's see what we can do to get rid of some of these things that are haunting this board. Uh, for some reason, I feel like I want to move over on this side first. So let's do that, probably because the chocolate. I know that that chocolate is going to grow. And so I want to get rid of the chocolate before I worry about all of the toffee. Uh, this is also going to be pretty tough because I've got to use specials to get rid of it. There we go. When we take out chocolate, no new chocolate can form. So that helps a bit. Let's try to scoot through here. Those moves are dwindling down quickly. So now we've removed some of the layers so that this is only two layers thick. Now this can only grow to two layers thick doesn't really help much when we consider that it can also grow outward, but at least it's something. Ooh, now I'm getting kind of stuck. I could try to make this move here and go for a bit of cascading. I think I'll switch over to this side. I don't want to. I want to take out that chocolate while it's available. We started on that, so I want to see it through. I just don't have anything good over here. So we're going to take out the licorice while it's weak. Oops, hello. Did not mean to do that. Let's do this. Oh, there we go. We can take out the licorice that way. Stripes. I like stripes. My mistake was to not pursue one thing and then the next. I can tell this is already problematic. And now I've got some things that I would love to put together. Oh, there we go. So that's going to open this up. I'm going to set a few things off. I'm going to clear a few things out. And then I just take out all red because I can't really do much else. And look at how much that chocolate has blocked us. Because presumably there is jelly underneath. I've got one, two, three four, five, six, seven jelly that's exposed, so everything else has to be under these areas. I can make a wrapped candy here, but yeah, it doesn't matter because I need to do too much on this board at this point in time. I just don't have enough turns to clear it all out. Oh well, got down to needing eight, but I see what I need to do. I'm going to pursue the chocolate first, and I'm really going to work to try to get rid of that chocolate. And if one turn I can't get rid of the chocolate, I'm not going to switch over to the licorice. I think that this strategy is what's needed on this board. I'm going to stay with the chocolate until it's eradicated, and then I will work on the licorice. Because the longer I wait, that chocolate just keeps growing and growing and making my life difficult. I'm going to pause the recording, come back with a new board, but with that strategy, I will have the microphone turned off unless I have something important to share.
Okay, I was able to get the chocolate cleared out pretty quickly and I've got a good setup here. It's a lot to expect for everything to be done now, but I think I'm on a pretty good path. Notice this did not get struck once. Oh, let's see what I can do with this. Uh, I don't have a lot left to do. I'm going to go ahead and make this wrapped candy. It's going to settle down here. It's also going to explode this, which is going to take out a color, which will concentrate things down further. So I think my my shot is pretty good after this. Um, do I need another color bomb? Well, I have six moves. So probably I don't, but... I'm going to go ahead and make one just in case I need it. Oh, look at this. Hey, let's go out in style and have fun with it. All right, so that's how I beat this level, and it took me fewer than five tries. So it can be done, but you need the board to kind of help you out a little bit. Uh, you need a little bit of luck coming in, and you need a good strategy. And I really did like the strategy of removing all of the chocolate first. Focusing on that. Not losing attention. Uh, not taking my attention away from that so that I could focus on the licorice until the chocolate was completely gone. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.